Hi there and welcome. This is the Aquarius Tarot Ring for Twin Flames for your love section. And keep in mind, your love has to do with yourself. So a lot of this might be just geared towards you, depending on what is going on. So we're going to start out. This is for the next week or so. So about August 10th through August 18th or so. I'll come back to you guys next weekend and give you another update. So what have we here? What are we dealing with overall energy for Aquarius? Aquarius sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus, cross watchers, anybody else this resonates with? Whatever is clever. Meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate. Pisces energy here. Okay. Coming through on the Aquarians. Crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. We've got overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Well, what a great card that is. Okay. So I decided to use the golden, what is this? Just the golden universal tarot here for you guys today. Just kind of go instinctually with whichever deck is calling my name at that time. Just feeling it for you guys. So, mm, my goodness. Okay, so some of our, oh, I'm going to pull a few of our overlying, underlying, however you want to look at it, um, energies for now. Okay, and then so what is going on with Aquarius's right now? We've got a lot of oh my gosh, like every single one was reversed. So feeling ooh, like it's maybe been a very important time for you and this maybe this is a very important time is kind of all that I'm feeling that the reversals meant and that this is a very this is something like you need to really pay attention to I feel like you know in the recent past you've been struggling a little bit you've been looking you've been I don't know if it's working too hard or just like blocking you know I feel like maybe some of you guys are working so hard that you're like blocking your um you know, blocking what really needs to be focused on. And like, it's just making life a whole lot more difficult for you. And like, you're wherever you want to go, just like, can you even see where you're going? Can you, you know, can you even focus on what needs to be focused on to get, you know, and that's why you're here to make sure because like you, you are, you know, leading yourself. You, you do have somewhere to go. Let's just put it that way. Like, you know what you're doing. You know what I feel like. You know what the goal is. We just need to, we just need to get there. You know what I mean? It's been, I feel like it's been a little bit, you know, some, some stuff's been going on for you without being too vague here. You know what I mean? Just don't necessarily focus on everything that's going wrong. Because if you focus on what's going wrong, the law of the universe will say, oh, here's some more shit to be like upset about. You know what I mean? That is what I'm really getting. Maybe you've been doing that. And maybe you've been sort of using some, I don't want to say necessarily addictions, but like addicted to work, addicted to this, addicted to that. Maybe you've been like over, overdoing something right now. Um, to where like you're just not doing the work that you need to do like it's you're being blocked from even going and like you're going in the right direction I feel like and you know like I said you really know where you want to go but you've been having trouble I think kind of manifesting like what you necessarily wanted so much and you've been like I said maybe finding too many distractions and too many things to kind of I feel like you may be dwelling on some things that just aren't necessarily that important at all. So once you can kind of take a step back, maybe stop like living everything so much, you know, maybe go, go and have some fun, go and have, you know, a moment to yourself, you know, where you are just like evaluating everything in your life right now and like what is going on. And then that'll help you get the clarity, you know, but you can't just shine everything over. 
you know, you it'll come back and bite you and create a huge moment, you know, if you don't kind of deal with it now sort of thing. But I think after you guys and, and get your emotions right, like you're going to have all these emotions and then you're just going to get them out. You know, you're just going to go, I'm not going to say like get drunk and talk about your feelings, but like something's going to pop out, you know, and the whole dam is going to like crush down and it's all of a sudden it's going to lead to a better place for your emotions. Like after you have this like, I don't want to call it like a waterfall moment. You know what I mean? We've got, it's just, this is just the way that it is. You're just going to be more clear. Like after you let your emotions out and stop bottling them in, you know, and covering them up and not paying attention to them after you finally deal with them, you know, get comfortable with them, then you'll be able to move forward. Then you're going to feel like a lot more comfortable, a lot more balanced, a lot more able to move forward from this leadership position that you know, like who you are and you know what you want and you are also being helped by the universe. Like when you're in true alignment, when you are actually doing the work and seeing the things you need to see, like looking at the signs that they're giving you, then this is when you know you're on the right track because everything will kind of come full circle and it'll feel like, wow, everything's just like, this is divine. Like this is, everything's just going so great. So a lot of work, a lot of work within. It's like a few steps forwards, then regroup. A few steps forward, then regroup. Like whether it's hard or fast, whether it's slow, like just keep on doing the work, thinking the good thoughts, doing the good, you know, doing what you need to do, which your thoughts are very important and going higher, getting higher to a higher level, I feel like is really important for you guys and knowing what you want and not getting distracted, you know, by any shiny objects, you know, and it takes sometimes going within it takes going to these higher levels, like this higher level of meditation. I feel like maybe that's kind of a big thing for you guys right now. Your mind, you are going to be getting, and if you're not right now, then you need to really be going in. You need to really look into your past and overcome any difficulties that you have had, that you have been having. And you have the power. That's the thing. Like your, your intentions are magic. Like that's why they're, it's called spelling. Like you set the tone, you shine the light where you want it to be shined, you overcome these difficulties, and then you'll have more time to be together, more time to get where you want to go. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? <laughs> I feel like it's very, it's very much like spiritual for you right now. And your intentions to get more spiritual are bringing you answers. And that's wonderful. You know, good for you. Like you're getting somewhere you're going deep. It's like, hey, I'll be back. Like, I got to focus on this shit right now. I got to be the leader and say, you know what? Maybe I need to figure stuff out. Maybe I need to go on a trip. You know, maybe I need to get a change of scenery in order to get this deep. You know what I mean? We don't do this work in our everyday lives. Like, you are, you know, I don't want to say, oh, you're on vacation. Like, some of you may be on vacation and, like, able to, like, get a whole new perspective that way. But, Sometimes, you know, you just go down the street, go find the woods, go find the nearest park, like go into, you know, you could do this meditation and do this work in your room. It doesn't have to be a place. It's wherever you are. You know what I mean? But the, the important is, is getting there. And it's funny because you can use it either way. Go deep, look within or higher minded. It's like down and up at the same time. And I see that a lot. And this is really big for you. And when you do it, when you work on yourself, when you go deep, your partner's going to go deep. When you go high, when you take the high road, your partner starts to take the high road. It's not about being better than them. It's about inspiring them and, and getting where you want to go. Like if you love this person, if there's somebody you can't go a day without thinking about, you know, If, then if you're really truly twin flames and you're connected in that way, then it's going to automatically happen for them. When you do the work, they're going to do it. That's just the way that it is. Okay. So you guys are on this journey together. You're working it out together. Your meditation not only helps your partner, but your meditation, every time we meditate, we help the entire world. When you intend to set peace and love into this world, not focus on any little obstacle and not focus on the negative stuff. When you focus on the positive stuff, you will get more of it. 
So that's why you can even go into meditation knowing that. Like it doesn't have to be a selfish thing because you're also wanting this for the world. You're also like wanting world peace and love and stuff for everyone. Oh, sorry about that. I'm not even going to take that one because it had three chances to turn over and it did not. So, okay. So we know what we're doing. You know, we kind of have our, we have our higher mental mode doing this meditation and we're using that to overcome some of these difficulties and move forward, move to a whole new place, you know, literally or probably most likely figuratively. You look back on who you used to be and look at the distance. Look how far you've come. Look how much you've changed, how much you've taken the blinders off of the situation. And that's why you're starting to come together. You're starting to see signs. You're starting to see signs that you guys might be in this for the long haul. You might be able to pull this off. Like you and your partner, you and your person, you know, you're going to have tower moments. Towers are going to have to come down. You're going to have to have new awakenings. The new awakenings don't just happen. They happen more when you're working on it. They happen more when you're facing, you know, the old difficulties and overcoming the, you know, all the negatives. You know, all the meditation, all the inner work is just helping you to be able to deal with these things better and celebrate every milestone, celebrate the times that you come together. You know, you may, like I said, you may not be exactly where you want now, but if you're focusing on the positives and you have a clear intention and you don't sit there and focus on all the negatives, then you're only going to move forward. You're only going to go on the path, but the, it's very connected to getting, getting deeper, getting higher not higher, obviously, you know what I'm talking about. Like I was just saying, you know, the hierophant going higher, going inner, going deeper. Like it's all dependent on that. It's all dependent on taking the blinders off. What you focus on flourishes. Like what you focus on is what is going to very clearly and quickly happen in your life. People are going to be attracted to you based on how you feel about yourself, based on how you treat yourself, based on how you actually look and actually act like it's just you set the tone you can protect your mind your mind your body and your spirit at the same time you can live in this 3d world and still have the higher mentality mode where your mind is like beyond you know you're coming from 4d 5d you know you're beyond time you're in five dimension you're going to where your heart and your mind and your body are like in alignment in on purpose like doing what needs to be done you know what I mean so this week coming up like we have a lot that's happening okay you are getting here you are starting to really hit some new things and you will be tested oh wow a lot of you guys are getting kind of the, a lot of the same cards don't be worried about this false admiration. Don't be don't be focused on the social media likes. Focus on the real changes in your real life right now. Focus on your twin flame. Focus on how focus on what you guys are going to receive, what you guys are going to get, how you guys are going to get there. You know, doing the inner child work, like I said, it's going to it's going to help you. It's going to help you so much that it's going to help your partner. On an energetic level, it's like beyond, oh, what I'm doing is rubbing off on him because he saw it because he felt it no you guys are moving up together you're very very much connected you are the yin and the yang you are two into one basically like you and you being here you again are kind of like the leader you know you're setting the intention you're going to be looking past all the um all the drama all the uh what do you call it the um distractions Man, knocking cards over everywhere. You're looking beyond the distractions. Your other one, your partner, you know, may still be distracted, but I don't really feel like it too much. I feel like you're coming, you're really coming to a place where you know you kind of maybe both want to be together and both have a much deeper purpose. Like, I feel like your partner is right there because you are so, so advanced and so like getting this and getting all of these teachings and because you're really taking control of your universe by taking control of your thoughts and your feelings you're able to create this new world and I feel like your partner's right there like you may not even know it how much your partner is right there because the masculine you know they don't come around telling us a lot of times you know and again I'm assuming that you're the feminine it doesn't mean you're the man in the relationship or the you know or the woman or whatever but um 
it's not really gender specific as much as just like the energies, um, the labels of the energies as we want to see it, as we are able to see it. So you guys are, you're starting on a new thing. You know, I feel like you're both receiving blessings from the universe right now. And you may even be kind of separated or focused on that right now, but like mentally and spiritually, like you guys are on track. You guys are doing what needs to be done. And again, like any conversation, any new thing that's happening, you should celebrate and you should be happy about um, and give to each other. You know, like if one of you has more and then one of you receives, like just know that one of you is not going to get all this knowledge and the other one's going to be sitting there waiting and not doing anything. Like both of you are going to be getting, you know, if one gets more faster, just know that the other will catch up. Okay. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It's going to be a re awakening. It's going to, you're going to have, you're having a new beginning here is what's happening. You really are. You feel very powerful. You feel very, you're going to be feeling within the next, um, week, like this is, this is this week. Okay. We just kind of built up the story to see where we are and like what's going on in the general situation and even deeper. But now like we are having a, where you feel like a new person, you know, you may feel like a new person together and you're really looking forward um, to like what you can achieve and what you guys can do together now that you're seeing this in this new way. And it may be startling to be like, wow, I just like got over so much shit, like just by doing that, like, and now we're, now we're like moving forward again together. Like, whoa, you know, you're, you, your mind and your, you know, everything else might have to kind of catch up together. But when your mind sets the intention and that's kind of what follows through that, what exactly happens. And then you start seeing things in your life that are like, wow, I guess it was that easy. Okay. I feel like you're really getting to a place where you're forgiving on a, on a childlike level. You know, you're not, it's not like, oh, you're going to like all of a sudden never remember any of the bad things again. You're, you're going to get in that mode. You're going to feel some old feelings that tend to bubble up and you want to not focus on them. You know, don't, um, don't let those bring, bring you down from what can be right now. Okay. Don't just assume that something's like rotten because there's a bad part of it. You know, like children still like will play with you tomorrow. If you fuck them over today, like you, you know, not like kids, people fucking over kids, but you know what I mean? Like if you're a kid and you get a fight with your friend the next day, like they'll be like, you know what? I still like you. Like, let's still play. Like we're still neighbors, you know, like we're still here in this thing together. And like, if you can't leave them, you got to just love them. You know, like if your partner is that person to you and you know that you're a twin flame and you know that when you come together, you always learn, you always move forward. You're like meant to be your, your partner's feeling you and like changing as you're changing. And like, you should feel that if you're not already, but like I said, it'll be very apparent, you know, as to what you've been manifesting after, you know, just a little while of this. And I think coming up, like I said, for you to start this new beginning with or without them, you know, like it, it always starts with yourself. So it's always going to be within first and just to stay on track and just to, again, just to come back and say, Hey, I want to play together. Like, this is how, this is who we are. Like, I still like you as a person, you can do it as friends, like just come back together. You know, like, are you having a, a reconnecting? Are you having an and you're actually your last card for the week. Like, I feel like your week is going to, I don't know if it's going to surprise you or not because you have been doing a lot of the work and you have been working, you have been sharing, you have maybe even been like praying for this person and, you know, putting manifestations on them and like sending them angels and sending them love. You know what I mean? It's been working. The angels have been hearing you. They have been supporting you both. And also that's what's maybe going to be bringing you guys together. Maybe, maybe sensually, sexually, maybe in a partnership of some kind but your thoughts are creating action because your thoughts are on point keep on going keep on doing the inner work and you'll have even more blessings even more health and like synchronicities and everything just getting to a higher and higher level and like having things happen faster and faster manifesting better and better not missing like any single moment like I feel like this is where a lot of us are at like we've got we've got blessings already we're like so grateful and we're like thank you but maybe is there something missing maybe is there something that's still like you're not like, opening up to completely um but whenever you just say hey you know what I'm gonna start over like I'm not gonna worry about the past I'm not gonna like focus on all these hurts I'm going to take my own personal power and realize that I don't have to do that and that's what's going to bring me back together with my person that's what's going to you know either get me back together or bring me somebody else you know that I can have this childlike innocence with but I really feel like you know this is 
something you've been working on. You've come a long way with somebody and you, I don't feel like we're making any big, you know, changes that, you know, as far as the energy that I'm getting from this, but I feel like you're, you're reining it in. You're controlling it a lot better. You know, like I said, you're not going to be missing a lot of opportunities, you know, even though you're not like overly, you know, focused on, you know, making it happen or any desperation. Like it's the desperation, honestly, what pushes it away a lot of times. Like now you're kind of chill, kind of go with the flow. You're kind of like, hey, you know, this is what this is. And I'm not going to necessarily put these labels on it. I'm not necessarily going to say, you know, we have to do this by this time or I want us to be like this. Like you're, you've lost kind of like that superficial um, mentality of it and now you're just like you've kind of gone underneath all of these societal condition things that oh this is what people do this is what people expect this is how other people act and you've like gotten down to like the bare necessities of like your love and like how it is divine like there's this other layer to it where it's just so much more beyond you know what maybe other people have or understand as far as what a relationship can be and it's kind of like you'll be taming the dragon like if your partner was messing around before if they were running if they were being cold or whatever um i feel like you're kind of coming into your own and because you've been doing all this work because you're continuing and focused on this because you have your clear intentions on becoming a better person doing this inner child work doing the shadow work meditating you know whatever it is you know all these self-improvement things and overcoming these difficulties this is you know where you're coming into alignment, you're upright more, you're able to see, you're able to really manifest what you want in your actual life. And because you're on point, because your your mind and your body and your actions are all connected and like hardcore, like clear, like crystal clear, like it's not only your body knows, your mind knows what it wants to do, you're like following through with your actions. And acting it out and getting those results like the results are coming this week okay the results are coming this week and you're going to be setting on another journey you're going to you're going to be going through it okay you're going to be manifesting you're going to be vulnerable again you're going to be i think giving and taking and learning i, I i'm just seeing like Maybe kind of coming back together and how was I going to put that? Like, it's almost like maybe you guys are coming back together and you haven't seen each other for a while. So it's kind of like it's new again, you're kind of giving, taking, learn. Like, so you're learning about this person all over again and, it, and you, it's kind of exciting, you know, like it makes you excited to see like where you can go this time and like what you can do. You know what I mean? And it might be moving very quickly. It might be moving away from all of this other stuff. And like I said, just keep knowing where your intentions are. Keep your intentions clear. Meditate on them. Focus on them. Contemplate on them. Not on the difficulties. Don't focus on the difficulties. Focus on what you want to happen. Okay, that is focus on, if you have to focus on the difficulties, focus on why you got there. But that leads you to an action, which is the intention that you're setting as far as what you're doing differently this time. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that resonates with some of you. Feel free to leave me some comments, any questions, all of that sort of thing. I really appreciate you guys coming in and stopping and spending some time with me here and learning some life lessons here because that's what it's about when we can help other people evolve. You know, we're only helping ourselves to be able to get to the next level as well. Like we're all connected here. So that's why it's just so important. Hopefully I can again help somebody. So take care. I will talk to you guys real soon. Stay tuned and be sure to check out some other um, videos for, you know, your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, which is how you are in your love and all of this. And you can also cross watch with other people in your lives and kind of see what is going on with them, especially if they are your twin flame person. So again, take care. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.